I built a mobile chicken run. Here we go. All right, guys, so here's everything that you need. I did get some spray paint. Now, you don't have to use this, but I would like to make the coop almost like disappear in the garden. And for that, I will spray paint the here in black. I got outdoor zip ties and I got these little couplings that will hold everything together. I got a total of eight. Additionally, I bought two different types of hardware cloth. It's a little bit heavier because it's longer. It's a 24 inch high, 25 foot long, also half inch mesh opening. I want to use the chicken run on top of my raised garden beds so that they can turn the beds for me kind of. So let's put this together. It's super simple. It's basically like Legos for adults. Just use the cufflinks on the end of each of the pipes and stick it all together. I made mine four feet by eight feet because that's the size of my waste beds. All right, that's it. So simple, isn't it? Now, if you'd like, you can add some glue inside of here. I prefer not to, that way I can take it apart and just size, etc., without wasting too much material. Let's go to spray painting. So this particular paint right here dries in about 15 minutes, which is why I bought it. It's about six, seven dollars at Lowe's. I'm going to speed this up for you here. As I said earlier, this is a step that you can skip. I guess I'm just a little extra. If you've noticed, like, kind of disappears in the countryside. So that's why I like to do things with plague. All right, I'm gonna let that dry another 15 minutes and then we're gonna attach the hardware cloth. This part is not hard to do at all. It does seem overwhelming at first, but you basically just align the frame, which is very lightweight, to the rolled out hardware cloth and attach the hardware cloth to the frame with the zip ties. Once you're finished with one section, you roll out a little bit more of the cloth and align the fixed section of the frame and repeat. In retrospective, I think I would have made it just a tad bit larger to fit over the beds instead of on top. Once you finish attaching the hardware cloth to the frame, you will then just take off the excess with a metal cutting tool and if you like you can put more hardware cloth on the top so that your chickens don't fly out i chose not to do that mine is removable so i can just take them in and out from the top i used the final product i'm now able to move this cage from raised bed to raised bed the chickens turn those beds for me i'm very happy with how it turned out Thank you for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time.